Hey everybody, Grizz here with uh, just a quick little update video. I won't do any, do any of that post-production kind of junk. I'll just talk and uh, let you know where I'm at and what's coming ahead. So uh, here we are, just the week before Christmas. And uh, all the rubber's sort of been put on hold now, uh, moving towards glassing time right after New Year's. So uh, the room's pretty full. Of rubber I've got uh, just another couple of pieces to do probably start in in late January early February I'll start doing some more so you can see all these ones here are gonna need uh, glass all these ones without the mother molds so I've got my work cut out for me uh, it'll be stinky zone I won't have many friends or, or visitors for the next little because they hate coming here when I'm doing glassing and uh, so that's, uh, oh, say hello to the to the old cactus room. I don't show this too much. It's kind of my favorite place to come and play around in. When I want to de-stress, I go in there. Anyway, enough of that nonsense. Here we go. Uh, shop's looking nice and clean, tidy. Uh, the far bench over there, I sort of ripped it all apart and reorganized it all. Uh, all the tables are set up now for uh, fiberglass. Uh, I've got about a third of a roll you see sitting over there on the third table. That's going to get all cut up today because I still haven't found anybody to cut my uh, glass up to the sizes I like. Um, hopefully find somebody one of these days. Uh, resin has come in. I'm ready to roll, but I don't like to get going until New Year's. I've got a lot of personal stuff on the go at this time of year too, so... Uh, uh, it gets put off until right after New Year's I fly at it. So you've all seen this before, the table's sort of set up for, this is the where I do all the wetting on the end over here. And got everything lined up, my brushes and mix cups and little sticks and gloves and all that kind of stuff, ready to roll. And since I tore that bench all apart, so I redid... Uh, this one as well. It's sort of a tradition for me this time of year. It's, it's a little slower in here. I like to gear down a bit, clean up, um, fix all the things that have been bugging me all year that uh, needed to be fixed or reorganized. So it's sort of container central over here. It's like a, a crafter's dream. <laughs> Every little thing you could see here that you might need for crafting or creating something. It's a fun little table. I like it, but it's sort of out of the way now, away from the main stuff. Um, organized all the tools up. Like I said, this bench is done, so I don't know if anybody's ever noticed before. I always had one pet peeve. This shop only has, you can see over there, has two plugs in it, and I have one over on the far wall over there for my mixer and the refrigerators plugged into um, but I actually, I did that. I turned it from the office that's in there. I, I just cut a hole in the wall and put the one that was in there. I just turned it around, spun it around, but there was only two plugs in here. Um, so it gets a bit frustrating when you're running three or four power tool, hand tools at a time, power tools, and, uh, you've got extension cords running all over the place and uh, it just drives me bonkers. So Bought myself a new 12 foot step ladder to feel safe because I'm not fond of heights. And uh, I put one of these retractable extension cords up onto the uh, ceiling there. So now I can actually grab it and drag it to, to any table I want and just give it a pull and it retracts back up again. Uh, it's got a big head on it for, I can put three tools in at a time. So I won't be tripping over cords anymore. It used to drive me crazy and the bad language was flying everywhere <laughs> because it drives me nuts. So it's, it's going to be going to be better. Like I said, this is the time of year. It's all those things that bug you. I think, okay, I'm going to fix this once and for all. So uh, I'm just going to take you in the next room and I'm just going to pause this for a sec, show you something I'm working on. So I mentioned at the big beginning the of the month or that I'd started working with monster clay, I think, and uh, I quite like it. it. Took me quite a while to get used to it um, and how to work with it, but uh, I'm digging the results that I'm getting off of here. 
So these uh, clay leaves will all be used for some sort of a project. I've sort of got a couple things in mind in the new year. Uh, but I'll, I'll keep you all posted as we run along there. So I've still got a couple projects for rubber, but like I said, I put those on hold. I do have a video ready in the can already for uh, that plaster pillar there. Uh, hopefully this week I might have some time uh, at home just to edit that fast and uh, pump that out before Christmas or shortly after Christmas. It'll be nice. And I'm sure like everybody's hectic at this time of year. you got a million things on the go. So just in, ge in general, I guess the, my year was good this year. Um, we had our challenges at the store with road construction for the second year in a row and road closures and really affected our business through the summertime. Um, had a nice rebound in late August and September was really good. October turned out to be okay. This, this time of year can be a little meh. Um, we'll see this week can get busy, uh, in the store. Um, it's last minute shoppers and guys coming looking for something for their wives. So, uh, believe it or not, people buy lots of concrete in, in December as well. And well, we've got all that wall art and stuff too, to sell. So got a few things coming down the pipe. Kind of exciting. It's just sort of happened in the last week. I'm not going to say exactly what it is because I've done that before. And then I disappoint myself when it just doesn't come to fruition. Either somebody backs out or it just doesn't come together. But uh, hopefully this, this is looking a little bit positive here. So we'll, uh, I'll hang on till after New Year's when I get all my ducks in a row and see if this is going to really happen or not. And uh, you guys will be the first ones to know what's going on. So I just wanted to say um, to everybody, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, uh, Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever you're doing, whatever you're celebrating or how you celebrate. Uh, have a great holiday season and a Happy New Year. And we'll see everybody in the start of January. Take care, everybody.